So in today's topic, we will talk about why is my stream stopped growing. Uh, I got this question from one of the US uh, breeders and uh, I actually wanted to take this opportunity to actually share more of what it is. Uh, however, before we go into today's topic, I actually want to give a special shout out to a few people, uh, particularly to Heiko Mantel, uh, he's from Germany and his dog recently passed away, it's been 10 years and it's, uh, it, it's a big blow to him. Uh, definitely, you know, uh, condol condolences to you uh, for, for that. And also he shared that, you know, his uh, Kelex ball arrived and uh, uh, his Hua food actually arrived as well. So, you know, uh, keep, keep using them. So the next uh, two other special shout out is actually to uh, Julio and uh, John Bino. Uh, so both of them actually joined uh, members. Uh, they are now part of the Stream Century uh, you know, members uh, in that sense uh, where they actually get uh, personalized information and things like that. So for those who are uh, still uh, thinking, no, should I join or should I not join? So it's entirely up to you guys. I, I do, not, uh, do not force you guys to actually join. Uh, I encourage you guys to join because uh, one of the things is that I actually uh, show showcase uh, some of the things in the members con uh, content. However, uh, what is most important over here is actually the one-to-one -one personalized information. So uh, there are many ways to support, of course, uh, that is just one of it. Uh, there's a lot of ways, like for example, uh, people who are very interested in, in supporting me through uh, using my methodology uh, by purchasing the Calyx ball and things like that. So definitely that is uh, perfect as well. So in today's topic, we'll talk about uh, stream stop growing. Uh, why is my stream stop growing? So there are actually a few things that um, that could have happened and one of the questions that I always ask is uh, what is the temperature? So the first thing is uh, I will ask is uh, what is the temperature? And the reason why is uh, temperature so important in terms of growth and acceleration of growth is because of uh, metabolic rate. So I, I know those guys who are, those breeders who are in the Northern Hemisphere, the US, in, in Finland and things like that, there are a period of time where if you do not use like heaters or external uh, heating elements, uh, it will actually slow down the growth for quite some time. Uh, basically, what I've learned from, from some of the US breeders is that it, it sometimes it takes you know eight to nine months to actually uh, grow to adult stage because um, it, it takes a much longer time for them to grow. Uh, and that's the reason why uh, temperature is something that I often ask. Uh, that will be actually my first question. Uh, what is your temperature? And can you actually increase it? So the feedback is that the temperature was between 71 to 73 Fahrenheit or 21.6 to 23 degrees uh, Celsius. So in that tank, it's, uh, the temperature is fine. Uh, and then I will ask like, you know, what is your tank size? So it's 10 gallons or 40 liters. Uh, how many streams are in there? So there are 24 streams in there. So uh, ideally, you know, you, you think, think about, it's actually not too bad. It's not overcrowded. Um, however, what could have been the limiting factor that actually you know, prevented the, the stream to actually grow, grow faster. Uh, so one of the things that I find that could actually enhance or accelerate the growth is actually uh, doing more water change, your regular water change, like for example, your weekly water change. If you do it, uh, they will actually in triggers uh, molting and, and things like that. So every time they molt, they actually you know, uh, grow bigger. So the next thing is that so these are a few questions that I asked and, and he told me that, you know, definitely uh, he has done whatever that is being done. Um, so what could be the limiting factor right now? So at the end of the day, because I would not always ask the, the, the question, is there sufficient biofluid at the very beginning? Because the biofluid is something that uh, if once it's stripped out of the tank, then definitely you need to actually enhance or supplement it through uh, other means, external means like the Calyx ball, which I always use and I always encourage people to use them. Uh, the reason is because the biofilm is the natural food for the streams. And if you feed a lot of other things, then you strip them the chance or the opportunity to actually consume the Calyx ball as well. So uh, biofilm requires time to grow and it's not always there. So once it's being stripped out, uh, then you, you need to actually supplement it so that when the streams are actually eating the Calyx ball, the, the rest of the biofilm in the tank can actually get uh, a chance to actually grow and so that you know you constantly will have biofilm in the tank. Um, and of course, you know, biofilm is something that 
one strip out is gone. So you know, I, and and you can actually see that streamlets, especially streamlets, when you put them all into you know one tank and like a grow up tank, they actually strip off the the biofilm fairly quickly. Like in a matter of uh, one or two days, you can actually see that the entire uh, biofilm is being stripped off. So this is some of the things that I would actually uh, recommend you supplement the biofilm. So these are some of the, the, the pointers or the questions that I, I ask uh, when it comes to questions like this. Uh, it may be a very uh, simple question and it always comes out. Uh, then that's the reason why I think it's good to uh, make a video. Of course, you know, every single uh, tank setup is slightly different. And that's the reason why, you know, for those who are who have reached out to me and, and, and asked me some questions. I always, you know, I have a list of questions that I, I will ask back. And then the reason is because I want to understand and learn from you what are some of the things that you do with your tank, how it's being set up, uh, things like that, so that I can actually uh, provide more accurate uh, information to you. However, it's not going to be 100% accurate. Uh, so the more content or the more information that you provide me, uh, the better it is for me to actually reply. Um, and of course, you know, um, it's also fairly difficult sometimes to really understand uh, what is what are you trying to trying to ask. Uh, so, uh, so be please be patient. So you ask questions, and I ask questions so that we can have that conversation. Sometimes I get a little bit more busy. Like for example, today uh, it's been three tanks. I reset three tanks today, and uh, yesterday I reset uh, four tanks. So there's quite a bit of uh, things to do. Uh, in, in that sense, so when I try to reply, I will definitely try to reply as, as fast as I can. And of course, you know, when you provide information, please uh, give me as much detailed information as you can possibly provide so that I can actually share uh, the right information with you. So thank you guys for watching this video. It's a bit short. Uh, however, I would like to touch these topics uh, in, in, in fairly, you know, good points so that people will actually uh, grasp the concept and don't have to sit through the entire the video. So thank you guys for watching this video. For those who like this video, please remember to give a thumbs up. And for those who are new to this video uh, channel, please remember to subscribe. And until next time, peace out.